Hello, welcome back to my channel. You guys, I have work to do. Here's the thing, we are literally leaving in less than a month. <laughs> That's literally insane to say out loud. I did not get a lot done this weekend because um, it was the 4th of July weekend. We had a lot of family in town and then Bentley got sick and there's just a lot going on and I didn't get a lot done. But what we did do is fill holes and take some things down. So we had a TV mounted there that is taken down, bubble wrapped and stuffed back there. You can see all of these white spots are where we filled holes and the apartment told us that they are going to be painting probably a different color so we're not going to worry about getting a color match of paint to paint over it but i am going to double check with them because they're doing like a preliminary walkthrough soon and so i'm going to check with them and make sure that they don't want us to fix the paint and just tell them like we fixed the holes um and see if there's anything else that they want us to do about that but we also had a shelf up there that has been taken down and as you can see there's a bunch of filled holes all over the place because we have lived here for three years so we it was home you know but anyways so um that's what we did this weekend that's like all we got accomplished was filling holes and taking those things off the walls what i'm about to do is empty out our lazy susan in the kitchen and pack up a bunch of the kitchen so this is fairly empty it just has some dog stuff some this is for our guinea pig cage over there that we have to take apart a little sd card tissues but otherwise pretty empty this is empty except for this ethernet cable that stays here empty empty getting rid of that this is our silverware some cooking utensils other cooking things getting rid of that this is the couple of pots and pans we have out this is empty 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 this is fairly empty and then this is where like our plates this is all of our packing tape our plates and some snacks bottles go up there there's a lot in the dishwasher empty this out quite a bit and then this is like our cups and then that's empty then on the island this is like all of our baby proofing stuff that we're just filling this up with it as we take it down some batteries super glue this drawer is baby locked because it is all of our tools and stuff there is some stuff stuffed back there that we're gonna throw away this is under the sink it's just got like our chemicals and stuff also locked this is fake and that is the entirety of the kitchen there's these drawers above the fridge that I don't think we've literally ever oh we have opened oh my god I had no idea there was stuff in there that's funny well yes okay so that is the whole kitchen I'm gonna pack up as much of it as I can our plan is like we're going to the store tonight we're gonna get paper plates red solo cups stuff like that and that's what we're gonna be using for the remainder of the month that we're here and we're gonna pack up everything we're gonna keep a couple of things out for cooking We're cooking very basic things but we're gonna be spending a lot of time eating dinner at our in-laws and not our in-laws at my in-laws we're gonna be eating dinner there a lot and then like getting pizza or fast food or whatever to just get by this month and get our kitchen packed up but yeah so I'm just gonna kind of start doing that I think I'm gonna get a large box because there's some kind of kind of big things but that's where we're at I'm gonna start with kind of pulling everything out of the lazy susan and seeing what needs to get thrown away what's coming with us things like that when i think of all the stupid things i've done to mess this up i fall apart and i think about the ways you showed me love i shake my head it breaks my heart found myself in the shadows I stuck myself in this hole I threw myself in the battle I made this bed on my own
Okay, so here is all of the crap that was in there. This is everything getting thrown away. It's either expired or, well, pretty much all of it is expired or some of them expire in August and I know it won't get used by then, so getting tossed. And then this is the stuff being kept and packed. Some of these things can kind of just be packed as they are, like the cans I don't have to do anything special with. But certain things like this opened bag of sugar or this coffee that the lid could easily come off of, things like that are gonna take a little bit of extra like precaution and like this that's like a liquid. So I will show you guys how I do that. Oh, you know what? I'm actually gonna throw away this caramel syrup because I know it's not gonna get used. Okay, so I'm gonna use this basket to put a lot of the stuff that like doesn't need to be, I don't know, like extraly, extraly packaged. Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> I'm gonna put like all of the cans and stuff in here and i'm also going to probably put the other stuff once it's like packaged in here because this needs to get packed too and this will keep it like organized and still so i'm gonna put them in here and then put this in a box You're a liar, liar. steak knives in the steak knife block and it was so difficult to figure out how to do because I don't want the knives to cut anything or whatever so I excessively bubble wrapped all of the knives that were in it and then the block is in there and that is what I was doing while I wasn't filming oh and I also I put the knives in a ziploc bag and then bubble wrapped the bag In the kids room packing this box with our little puzzle pieces and these things that were in our little cubby I don't even know Okay, so this is how I have this box packed. I'm not gonna close it because I still want them to be able to play with those toys. But that way it's just a quick, like this is where I clean them up and then when we're ready, we can just close it. They still have like some big toys and there's some in the closet that aren't in a box, but that's what we're doing for now. The main goal is to make things as easy as possible when we get to having the truck so that everything else that's like not packed is, is like in a box and all we have to do is shut it and tape it and then it's ready. And then everything is easy to just pull out and put in the truck and then start doing like last minute stuff on the house itself. Progress is good. That's pretty good. Those things I've been wanting to get packed up for quite a bit. So now I think I'm gonna see what we can do in the bathroom. It's gonna be pretty much the same concept. I'm gonna pack some stuff but not close the box. And I'm probably gonna put this box in here up on top of this so that he can't get into it and like constantly unpack the things that don't need to be unpacked. But when I want to give him his toys, I can give him his toys if that makes any sense. So I'm gonna take this curtain rod out of here. I'm leaving that one up because that window is a much brighter window. But these curtains, they barely do anything anyways. They don't even cover the whole window. So I. Just, just took them down and we'll just get by so these curtains I'm leaving up and and now we're gonna see what we can do in the bathroom so I realized that I had put the bedding like our for our bed in the washer and it was in the dryer finished drying so I realized I needed to put that on but it kept flinging dog hair everywhere just because of like the air and like whatnot so I just vacuumed this floor and the carpet in the kids' room. I'm literally sweating. It is so hot in Oklahoma and our AC like can never keep up. It's a good couple degrees past what it's set at. It just can never keep up. So it's so hot and I'm sweating, but I'm gonna get our duvet cover back on the duvet. Then I'll start packing the bathroom. Well, what I can. I don't know how much I can really do. Welcome to a new day because if you've been here for even five minutes, you know that I never finish a video in one day. So. 
I didn't get to do anything in the bathroom yesterday because the kids ended up needing naps and then I just spaced out and started drawing and I had done a lot. So I'm going to see what I can do in the bathroom today. I'm not too sure how much I can really accomplish. There are some big things in here that I don't know if I have like a spot for like we've got one of those like seat things for the bathtub but then the other problem that i have is like for example i just feel like a lot of this stuff like i can't like i still need to have stuff out for my period so i think it's definitely going to be like i pack but i don't close the box so that i have the box and it can just easily be like you know whatever i'm going to take a small box and pack all the medicine in its own box because i don't want it i don't know i don't want it where it is right now because i'll show you what i mean so we have this blue thing and some of it's empty i mean that one's empty this has a bunch of random stuff this is where our medicine is and the reason i want to pack it up is because now bentley's been opening that obviously he can't be messing with medicine that's charles's trimmer stuff so I'm going to pack that to get it out of his reach and then once we move it will be like it'll find its permanent home somewhere that he can't reach but he hasn't messed with that until just now so I'm going to get that packed up and we shouldn't really be needing it. I'll probably keep like the infant Tylenol like certain things that we may need I'll keep out um, but in a different spot like so that it's easier. I need to plug my battery in and I'm going to kind of like look around and figure out what I can do and then I will be back. Okay, please excuse the Moana in the background. Bentley is somewhat content with it, so we're letting it roll. I just cleaned the countertops and the sinks, faucets, this backsplash. I still need to clean the mirrors. I packed up some stuff, so this is a little bit more empty, but there wasn't a whole lot in there. And then all of these drawers are empty except for this one, and this just has like the essentials we need a lot of stuff is in here and this is going to be what we just throw in a suitcase so it's got like my brush our deodorant toothbrushes stuff like that we'll travel toothbrushes and then in here i have his cologne my face wash some stuff in this bag the goal is that it's just a super simple throw it in a box it's already ready to be packed and then i emptied out this whole blue thing i'm going to clean it out pull it out so that i can clean in these little thingies whatever you want to call that I'm going to clean the shower, the floors, cabinets, walls, doors, all of it. I'm going to do all of it so that I just have to do like a quick wipe down when everything is like fully empty. We have our moving truck and we're done in here. So I just cleaned the countertops. Now I'm going to probably move on to the cabinets next. Okay, well, I'm gonna have to stop filming because Bentley keeps trying to grab my camera. Okay, it has been a while, probably an hour or two, but I just went ahead and did like everything. The only things I haven't done is cleaning the walls and this cabinet above the toilet that still has a bunch of stuff in it. But I cleaned the counters, the sinks, the mirrors, the baseboards, the shower, like wall and the tub, the toilet, the baseboards around the toilet, vacuum floor, swift the floors, like. I did the whole shebang, so hopefully when all is said and done, things will just be a quick wipe down and I'm gonna keep obviously keeping up with cleaning to keep them from getting like any kind of built up. And now I'm gonna get Bentley lunch, get him down for a nap, and I don't know, go from there. I'm probably gonna chill and draw or something because I'm totally exhausted from this. And it's also been kind of a rough day and I've just been very frustrated and I just wanna chill. So I don't know, I'll check back in with you when there's anything going on welcome to friday baby the best day well no saturday is the best day because Charles is home. but friday is a good day because i can make it through the day because i know that charles is home tomorrow anyways i'm gonna kind of finish what i started what was it like yesterday the day before i don't know doesn't matter it's all the same video for you but i'm gonna finish the stuff i started in the kitchen i have been starting to collect our stuff here i had to do a final batch of dishes I'm gonna keep out like a couple of these kid plates, but otherwise we have paper plates. So these I'll just finish washing and they're a little bit wet still, so I'll be wiping them down. But I'm gonna finish packing our plates, our bowls, our cups. We have red Solo cups that we're gonna be using. I'm gonna keep out like a water bottle or two, but the rest is going to get packed. And then like I said, we have paper plates. We should be able to get by without bowls, but I'm gonna keep out some of the kids stuff, but we'll be fine. So I guess I'm just gonna start that. It's so weird to be packing up the kitchen. Oh my bread, just so I can hold you closer. 
I just spent some time playing with the kids. Do you want a snack? Yeah. Okay, hold on. Okay, got him his snack. Anyways, so Graham is now eating a bottle and going down for another nap. Why won't this focus? I am going to fold this basket of laundry that I've been avoiding for a good couple of days. And then I'm going to get these towels out of the dryer and pick like one or two to keep out for like when our dogs make a mess. And then I also have a couple of towels out for us showering and stuff, but I'm gonna pack all of the rest of the extra towels in this already started bathroom box or whatever, and then I don't know if I'm gonna close this one or not, because I can't remember if there's stuff in there that we might need, but I'll probably just close it, and if we need it, then we'll open it like we've been doing with other boxes. Most of the stuff that we've packed, we've been able to live without and haven't had to open it, but I'm gonna fold these clothes and probably cry while I do it. I'm kidding, I won't, but I hate folding laundry. So come on up for air Get to the match even though you never earned it Sometimes I wish that I didn't care I put the box well both of the boxes over there and then a couple of them in the bathroom and I am now just going to edit because I need to get this video up tomorrow so yeah I'm just gonna end this video here and get some editing done I love you guys thank you for being here we're in the final stretch and I will see you next week <laughs>